So you know, if I ever want to evaluate any kind of expression, like pretty much the, the Lua API, you do whatever, you get the results. I can, I'm mostly able to get the battery level. And um, I can do stuff like the write and display text. It says like, hello world. I'm guessing it says hello world right now. Yep. And here is an example of like a real time thing of like, hey there, and I can change the color. I can change the position if I wanted to, the spacing, you know, do whatever I need to do. Um, and super cool. And the purpose is for rapidly developing applications into symbol web pages that can then, you know, you know run, running the Lua scripts. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So right now, normally, um, I'm going to refresh this. So to connect to it, you would do, um, oh, oops, it, it keeps automatically connecting. So like now it's not connected, you just connect, you select your frames. The ones that I already have are paired. I pair, and uh, now it's paired. And what's nice is by using the, um, by using the um, Web Bluetooth API, you can you can look for devices that are already connected. So here I have a separate tab, and when I refresh, it looks for devices that are already connected and then connects it. So right now, I can refresh as many times as I want, automatically connect. I don't have to deal with the dialogue thing. Um, here uh, it shows um, the Lua script editor, where you can just you know do whatever kind of development you want. You know, x equals yeah, 100, and I can do print x. Then this is, gives me, oh, I guess I. Oh, um, wait, whenever, whatever responses you get here, you get uh, the responses. So if I do, no, well, it doesn't matter. Um, you want to deal with like the rendering stuff, like printing Hello World or something. So, you know, in the Lua API, you have like frame, display, text, Hello World, and then frame, display, show, and then you can run that, and then you just say Hello World. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you want to change the words or something you can just do, that and say hello, whoa. I'm guessing it's updating mm -hmm. it. And this is a, a quick example I made using the SDK where I look at whatever input it's in here and then I just run that same executable every single time I make any kind of change. So if I do, hey, brilliant labs and updates, I think I spelled that wrong. Um, and I can you know, change the color, I can change the X position. And I added some throttling because I don't want to send, you know, so many messages. You change the X and Y position. I noticed uh, an issue. If you have the X, if you have the Y value all the way at the bottom, the X value doesn't update. I think that was happening or just now. And I can even change the spacing. And uh, you know, if I had more time, I would have used the insoles and used like the center of pressure to make a little game where I would just render a single like. For example, I like, imagine like a pong game where I just have a single O, and then I can uh, just move that left and right. As you walk. Yeah, or something like that. Just, just using really simple, like, ASCII art yeah. type of games. Super cool. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you.